hi guys um yeah so welcome to my channel once again i am filming inside my car this time around because um this is a rather impromptu video i want to start the series the beauty blogging 101 series and um i don't want to wait for everything to be perfect because i mean that's one of the wrong things we as bloggers do we want everything to be perfect before we start blogging so this is a typical example of you know um season the moment yes this is a perfect example of season the moment so i'm season the moment to the very first video in the beauty blogging 101 series for beauty bloggers and other bloggers who would like to learn a bit more about blogging and what it entails what it involves and stuff like that so the very first um topic in the series is why i'm doing this because i know um people are going to be asking that so i mean why does she think she can teach us what exactly does she know how long has she been blogging like come on why would she just wake up one day and say she wants to do a series for bloggers you know and questions like that so um i i thought it would be nice to do like an introductory video to the series instead of just uh, you know just going straight into it and not giving examples or saying anything and stuff like that so um I have script, so I'm going to be taking cues from there every once in a while. But mainly, this is just a freestyle video um, talking about myself and my blog and the reasons behind this series. Anyone who knows me knows that I've been blogging for a pretty long time. Um, I've been a beauty blogger for um, about five years now, and i have read so 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 many posts articles blogs watched videos and done all sorts of things and generally just you know absorbed every kind of information i could find and get about blogging and how to be a better blogger um i started my blog i started my blog um to teach people how to use cheap available makeup i don't know how many of you remember davies pencils i know they still have them now even though i haven't used one ages no i think i have one i have a purpley one in my yeah i think i have a purple one i have yeah like one or two but i don't have as many as i used to but i'm sure a lot of you still have them and still use them come on girls raise your hands up uh, <clears throat> So we have the pencils now, that's what we use, but then they used to have this eyeshadow palette thingies. I think they were like 12 or so in the palette. And they used to go for like 200, 250, Naira and And so many people were using it. Makeup women, sales girls, corporate professionals. My mom had one, my sister had one, my aunties had. And you know, even as everyone was using it, it something kept, you know, like telling me that you know, as pigmented and as bright and as colorful as they were, I was like that. I have a feeling that this thing can be used, you know, in another way to make it look nicer, more attractive. Because, you know, then they just apply the eyeshadow just here and here, you know, like, you know, just like slashes of color and stuff. And I never really wanted to use makeup because of that. So... I decided to go on the internet and find you know like information about how people can apply makeup you know to make it look prettier than they currently did and uh, I don't know how or why but for some reason I didn't find any um, African video bloggers I only found three and there's really two I started following um, Aubrey of Fafinet X3, Christine of Extina, and Ren of Makeup by Ren Ren. You know, they were like kind of like my holy grail of makeup. I followed them consistently, loyally, like every day I'd watch all their videos. And um, unfortunately, it didn't quite occur to me then that, you know, 
the techniques they used were the techniques that suited them. So every time I tried to replicate, you know, one of their looks, I'd be I'd wonder like, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? And it took a while for me to realize that all three of them are monoliths. So of course their technique has to be different because it has to enhance their eye shape, you know, give them more of a crease and stuff like that. So um <laughs> The moral of this really long story is that I went into beauty blogging because I wanted to teach um, regular women out there how to make, how to wear makeup properly <clears throat> without necessarily buying expensive product. <clears throat> I don't do that anymore though. Not anymore. Definitely not anymore. I don't, I'm not a... Um, I don't support cheap makeup anymore, thankfully. So, um, in the course of, you know, trying not to support the use and purchase of cheap makeup and stuff and um, trying to get affordable and available products here in Nigeria, I came across Nigerian brands. I... Um, what I did was I recalled the ones I could, you know, that were familiar to me. I knew people who used to use Tara or Ekelewa back then in university. And so those were the ones I hunted for first. And after that, I found Lies and then Zaron and then BM Pro and then Carrera, who live in America. And then Sacred Artistry and then Hega and Esther. She used to be a makeup artist, Hega and Esther, yeah, she used to be a makeup artist before she went into tools full-time and so she doesn't do makeup anymore and the rest of them. So that was how I got into a relationship with them. And because I was the first, you know, like, blogger to approach them, Nigerian beauty blogger interested in Nigerian brands willing to use Nigerian brands, they were kind of like, um... They were very receptive of me and my message and my blog and so they gave me products you know i got a lot of products with them from them i got a lot of products from them and it was it was it was awesome it was really great because the only other beauty blogger nigerian beauty blogger i knew then was stella stella was stella's addiction and she lived all the way in france so we couldn't necessarily use the products that she used to talk about on her blog was we really couldn't find them here and so it was yeah i was the, literally the only one and i got free products but i was a mess i was a mess like my makeup was horrible my pictures were terrible i knew nothing about design for my blog i knew nothing about content i mean I didn't know anything. All I knew was I needed to seize the moment. I needed to start. And, you know, in starting, I would grow. I would progress. I would get better. So I won't bore you with all the details of my growth period. Um, I'm going to fast forward. And I'm going to get to here where I am now. I'm here now. I've gone full circle. I've discovered my strengths and my weaknesses. I've, you know, been able to capture a niche for myself. And um, I can say for a fact, for a fact, without bragging, that I am literally, sorry, let me just adjust this. I think it's all good. I can say for a fact that I am currently the only Nigerian beauty blogger with a full grasp of what goes on behind the scenes of a blog and blogging and the whole online space as a whole. Now, I'm saying that without bragging. Um, the only advantage I probably have over everybody else is that I actually work in um, digital marketing. So that has definitely helped me to expand the scope of my knowledge as regards that space. And um, yeah, I've, I've pushed it, really pushed it. Not to the limit, but I've pushed it with my blog, with my social media platforms. And yeah, basically, so when i was um one of the speakers at social media week um the the uh yeah the panel for beauty blogging 
it, it really, you know, expanded my um, curiosity about the space because I always hear questions like, how do I start a blog? What do I need to start a blog? I see bloggers who are, you know, working towards getting a DSLR or just things expensive they had to use. You need so many other support equipment to get the best out of them. And, and I'm like, okay, so um, that isn't exactly all you need or what you need to actually start a fully functional, successful, you know, content filled blog. But yeah, people don't know. They don't know. So um, I know how frustrating it can be because I started in that space and I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. So I've learned a lot by myself. By myself, I've learned how to do a bit of coding. I've learned how to take pictures. I've learned how to write. I've learned how to proofread. I've learned how to network, I've learned how to work with brands. I've, you know, I've I've learned a lot of I've gotten a lot of knowledge here and there in bits and pieces. So basically this series is kind of like putting all that knowledge together to to benefit not just myself because I'm also going to learn in the process of, you know, like creating these lessons, this some um, different videos in the series. But I'm also going to be able to teach other people, which is something that I look forward to doing because um, sometimes I feel like I'm being a bit selfish because, yeah, like it's, um, I just read and I retain, I read and retain and I know for a fact that when you teach other people, you learn yourself. Now, this, the blogosphere can be very frustrating. The online space can be very frustrating. There was a time that all I did was play facebook games and i got so tired of them i used to play like five between five and ten at the same time farmville farm town restaurant town restaurant Ville, cafe town like there were so many of them and then one day i just shut down i closed my facebook i closed everything and i was like i can't do this anymore so i after a year i met a strategist and we had a talk and he was like Beba, all you need is you need to have a reason behind going into that space and so i rebranded to Barbara 1923 and it has been great since then because I have a new purpose for going into that space I have a new reason I have a new drive new energy to be there and it has really helped me a lot it has really helped me so um I know that if I had known everything I know now when I first started I I probably have, you know, achieved more than I have now at this moment, but God knows the best. God knows the reason why. Um, in life, everything is one step at a time. So, yeah, this series is called The Nigerian Beauty Blogger because I'm Nigerian. I'm a beauty blogger. I, I just felt that, yeah, it would be a great name to call it. Beauty Blogging 101. So, I'm looking forward to an intermediate series and perhaps an advanced series somewhere down the line but in the meantime we'll start with 101 you know the simplest basic foundational things you need to know to have a blog and start a blog so basically the three things you will take out of this series basically in a nutshell is um one understanding the different platforms necessary for blogging success two learning how to differentiate yourself and three making this whole online thin work for you and to your advantage and to your success so please 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 remember um thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel baby i'm glad i saw you i am just beside all you i'm gonna make you feel at home chocolate and roses chocolate and roses chocolate